Hey everyone, this is Cindy Ray and I'm standing here with trees at midnight and I want to tell you a little bit about the process that went into creating this painting that I just love. So I wanted to do something that um, encompassed repurposing discarded items and I didn't want those discarded items to be things that I discarded. And I went and I just asked other artists, you have any scraps of canvas that you want to get rid of, that you're never going to use, that the size will never work. And I had all these scraps and I kind of started ripping them and looking at them and went to the sewing machine and I sewed this canvas together, but I wanted the seams to be showing, to be part of the painting as all um, as a component of the repurposing idea. And so the seams are really thick, and if you're standing in front of this painting, you can see that. They're really rough, and they're hard, and they're thick, and I just love that about the painting. So once I got it stretched onto um, my boards, and I created the canvas, then I was ready to paint. So I gessoed it up and made sure that the strings were hanging off and that they were substantial. And this was really my Jackson Pollock moment in my whole life. And I just started throwing paints, literally throwing paint, using whatever I felt like, whatever materials I felt like using. And I just threw it together. And of course I did a little touching up afterwards but it was great fun and and when I'm painting an abstract I often it becomes a story in my mind of what what is the story behind here and the seams just seem to be telling me that just felt like trees and it felt like energy and it felt like night and so that's where the name comes from, Trees at Midnight. And I had it framed by my good friend, Craig Stemple, and it's a wonderful, massive frame for a substantial piece. And I hope that you love this as much as I do. And as far as where it could go, it could go anywhere. It could just add a pop to just about any space that you can think of. There you go. There's the story behind Trees at Midnight.